Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have no makeup on today. You probably guessed what the video is about today. It is a unboxing first impression try on haul for flower nose. Blame you guys, you guys made me to buy flower nose. Uh, recently, I've seen so many comments about good looking products equals good quality, nice to use. Obviously, we all big fan of florists and we all know florists are qualities, but in China, there are still so many good looking brands and good to use as well. And Flower Nose was on the second request list apart from florists. So I've bought not all the items, I bought the items that good looking and I'm interested because when I go through this uh, uh, whole product brand style and the um, and the audience they are targeting, it's a little bit younger than I expected. <laughs> so a lot of designs, a lot of colors especially, are more designed or they market for younger generation. I mean, about 20. Obviously, I'm about, you know, over a decade from 20. And um, yeah, so I only pick the kind of not too far away from my age. Uh, so at least whoever watches my videos, I know some of you are similar age and some of you are way much younger. So at least those products for all of us, we all should be okay to use, especially from colors perspective. So without further ado, that's unboxing this lovely, lovely one. I will just grab as I go, as we always do. And uh, this time I bought foundation. I think it can, uh, it comes with some gifts as well. Hang on, let me grab a scissor. If you see, if you follow my channel for a while, you probably know in the past videos that I bought a few uh, flower nose items. The items that I bought are quite good, to be honest. I was quite impressed with. Oh. This is the thing I wanted. Can you guess what it is? It is a handheld mirror. Oh, oh you see my camera there? Yeah. <laughs> this is a handheld mirror. This is a gift that comes with the foundation if you purchased. To be honest, when I see the reviews about that foundation, I wasn't going to buy because kind of uh, mix and match a lot of feedback. So I was very much hesitated to buy the uh, foundation, but until I see the gift, this is just so pretty and it's very heavy weight. It's like a metal material. Oh, <laughs> this is very like a, a Chinese old tradition, you know, Chinese queen's princess and using this type of mirror. That's the only reason I bought the foundation. Obviously, today we're going to find out whether it's good or not. At least I'm happy with this. Uh, I bought, just quickly go through the items. So I bought uh, six colors. This is called Cherry. Yes, Cherry Love Series uh, six colors eyeshadow palette. This is the eyelash curler. This is the foundation, which we will use it right now. Then I got uh, mascara. Oh, and for the cushion foundation, they do give you two refills. I hope this can perform well, otherwise it's such a waste that they give you two refillers. And this is the blush. As you guys know, I already bought two flower nose blush, which is like a little tin pot, which one I really, really like. So this time I have big hope on this blush. And this is the uh, velvet lipstick. Took me so long to choose their lipstick because majority of their colors are very full younger generations which i don't feel would really suit me so um yeah got one and this is the hey, mascara again have i got two? Oh no i mentioned this earlier sorry and this is a glitter liquid eyeshadow 
obviously that start from the foundation. You know, for today's purpose, I'm going to use my 100% guarantee Uni Club primer. Uh, I don't know whether you guys see the video already that this is the most reliable primer that I have in my primers collection that so far I haven't had any that the foundation work against it. So if anything happened with this foundation, it's 9 out of 10 would be this foundation's problem. Oh, by the way, the cushion the foundation, you need to buy it separately. So you need to choose a case first. I, I think there are four, four different cases. I chose this one, which is called a pink something bird. Exactly as it's, dis as it's shown. Oh, this is so pretty. Very, very good quality. Very good weight is magnetic like that oh it's so pretty please please perform well and then that's the inside oh okay so if that case they didn't give you two refiller they gave you one extra so one is supposed to come with it you do need to buy it separately um, when you have to purchase separately it made the foundation not that cheap so uh, it's, uh, especially in comparison if you compare this with Giorgio Armani or something obviously this is titular uh, but if you compare with uh, uh, the brand that in a similar line that this would come across as a little bit more expensive okay that's what to look inside it does come with a puff Ooh. Oh. oh, once you put the inside in, you can't really close it properly. Okay, you guys see. You still have a gap. Nah. Is that my problem? Oh, could be my problem. Oh, that was my problem. Now it's perfectly fine. Okay, I'm a little bit hesitate to use the puff, but it seems I like to use the puff more wetted. The puff seems very soft. When you touch the surface, it's like you touch somebody's skin. You know what? Let me wet it. You know what? I think it could be a wrong decision that I wet it. I think I shouldn't because it doesn't expand. When I really touch closely, it's like a very fine hair. I mean, like a puff hair. So it's not a, a normal puff that can expand after soaked into the water. But this one doesn't. Hey ho! I have a backup. Mm. So let's try this first. I think I will soon give up on this puff, but anyway. Oh, even inside, I have the details. So you have a protection sheet. That's what look inside. It's like a it's like a very buttery cream foundation inside. Can you see it's once you press down it's kind of soak it in? Interesting. Okay. Zoom you in, eh? You know what, I think I come back to this puff. It's not a bad puff to use, but I think I made the wrong decision to wet it. I will need to do it without wet it. I think if I didn't wet it, it would work better. But hey, I have backup. Ah, now the coverage comes out. Okay, I'm just going to do heart face first, uh, also for you guys to see. Let me hold this mirror. Mm. 
Well, I don't know whether it's because of the foundation or it's because of the primer I used. It performed fairly well. Can you guys see? Let me get even closer. The pores area being kind of smoothened it out compared to this side, especially on no side, you guys can see clearly, right? And the coverage is medium. I think if you use the puff that come wet, you should still get similar coverage. But I think because I wet it, therefore made it very sheer um, coverage. I, I, I think that's my mistake. So let me see if I build up a little bit. And you know what? Let me touch the foundation. Let me just feel it. It is very creamy. I think it's... I, I, I kind of get why a lot of people say it's not suitable for oily skin. I think it's very hydrating by touching it. But the finish is just normal finish. Can you guys see the glow on this side and compared to this side? It's kind of the same, isn't it? It is not dewy finish, neither matte finish. It's just like a skin finish. It's still keep the natural glow it doesn't make your glow disappear i really want to say i like it it's a little bit a little bit sticky let's see if it transfers okay clear finger not really fit on the skin fairly well if you guys see the under eye area there is no creases why there were so many people saying it's guaranteed creasing up is that because they didn't use my primer <laughs> is, that, is there another example to prove my primer actually good you know what? Off camera, I'm going to try with a different primer. And we see. First impression, it is nice. Uh, let me just quickly cover the marks. Then I'll be back. Okay, just quickly down the contour. I also used Flower Nose Contour Palette, which is in one of my unboxing video not long ago. This is uh, this one is quite good. The shading looks fairly natural. It is more towards a warm, slightly warmer undertone than my preference, but I think it's still natural enough to use. Would be even nicer to use for summertime. The next, move on to the eyeshadow palette. They do have a few eyeshadow palette selections, but I have to say none of the colors really catches my eye so it, they're all fairly um standard that would be the best way to describe it but i quite like this uh, palette's design oh it's very good weight it looks like old tape well if you never seen this type of tape it means you're very young Congratulations. <laughs> if you ever seen this tape or during your childhood, you would be similar age as mine. <laughs> the protection sheets just flown away. Anyway, that's what to look inside. It is fairly standard. Um, I didn't choose something very different. Oh, I just touched the powder. The shimmery color is very sandy. So it's not like wet, smooth. It's like you literally touch a sand. Mm, the shimmer color mm. the quality is comsi comsa especially you have a look at this uh, shimmer color the glitter inside is very chunky and very sandy like yeah you can tell the grinding and it's, it didn't make it very fine and the reflection is so so to be honest, if you're a uni girl or just go for a day-to-day -day look, this would be okay. Um, but I think it's still below my preference, so I think. Let's try it on the eyes. 
as I'm going to do a simple eye look so I will fast forward in this part so um, don't waste your time The eyeshadow palette is really so-so, especially the shimmer color is not really performing well. The glitters, the reflections looking on the eyes are... It doesn't look classic, it doesn't look, you know, good quality. It looks very kind of fairly cheap in a way. But the matte colors performance are good it's not high pigment i would say it's a medium pigment it is fairly easy to be blended out on the eyelid there is no patchiness from those perspective they are good but to be honest if it wasn't for youtube would i really buy this palette probably not uh, then let's try their mascara and eye curler let me find it right oh before that we still got glitter liquid eyeshadow flower nose the packaging is really really good it doesn't look cheap and cheerful at all this brand look at this even for the liquid eyeshadow the packaging it has very good good weight and you know the plastic they use is very very fine and this time I chose P01 oh I like the brush it's way much easier to get the color out it is a silver base with green orange blue purple different color mix the glitters in there oh zoom you in again I'm just going to put a little bit the oh sorry didn't show you guys the brush the brush is smaller enough to manage on your eyelid but it's not too small therefore you can't really get the product out Let's just put over here. When you put it on the eyelid, it's not that shockingly glittery. But it's visible. Oh, this one performed way much better than their eyeshadow palette. Ooh. Of course, this is first impression, so I don't know whether it's lasting or not. I do need to use a few more times. Oh, from that perspective, this is nice. Especially if you got to uh, work during the day, then you go out for a date or for cl for clubbing. Some of you I know, uh, or go for dinner. It's always nice to have some um, liquid glitter in hand. It will really sparkle your eye look, make your eye look transform into evening time then come to the eye uh, lash curler and mascara I thought the curler would be fairly standard but ooh, I think this is a gift I think this is like if you buy the mascara then comes with this this is very cute and this side is fairly small I think see slightly smaller than this standard. I think I need to work with it a little bit more. Okay, let's talk about the first impression. The part that I like is here is slightly shorter than the standard one. Therefore, this one would really hold all the lashes and the that to the curl together. But something I'm not too sure is the angle of here. It's a little bit. Let me grab a normal one. It's a little bit too wide than the normal one. So it's quite like, it's not that easy to use. And on, on this eye, when I curl it, it made it very much like 90 degrees. Uh, but on this side, I kind of angled it to try to, you know, work with it, at least not 90 degrees. So 
Don't know. We'll come back to this. We'll need to practice a little bit more. But that's do the mascara. Do you guys like the first impression video? Do you pref prefer to see first impression, or you prefer to see my review video that you know I used it, have my full thoughts on, then share with you guys which way you prefer? <gasps> it's it's very cute. The packaging, I have to say, flower notes. Well done, well done. Uh, I think I chose. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. okay. Can you guys see the cap? I was trying to get rid of some of the product from the applicator. Instead, it's kind of pull out more. You know, every time when I do bottom lashes, I have to open. I have to do like this. Looks ugly, I know, but I, I, I can't, I can't help it. First thought, I think the product inside is a little bit too wet. So you do need to make sure you take it out before you use it. Let me zoom you in. As you see, because it's a little bit too wet, therefore on the tip of the lashes kind of transferred to the eyelid. Can you guys see on both sides I have? First impression is fairly average. It's, uh, if you're interested in the packaging, I think they have different colors as well. Um, I think it's, what well, one thing is good about it, although I said it's wet, but it doesn't make my lashes go back. It still held it well. There are good fibers, good amount of fibers in there. So um, it's not too clumpy. Um, let me zoom you in again. If you guys see on this side, it's way much better because I angled the lashes better. But this side is more like 90 degrees when I first time used the curler. Therefore, the um, angled area, the corner area, it gets a little bit clumpy. But this side is way much better. So I think overall for the price of it, it's not it's not too bad, but certainly very wet. Let's just have a look at my hand. See? It's already out. Then comes to the lovely blush. I have a big hope on this blush as the other two I really, really like. I find the um the other two. Uh, the powder qualities, the performance, the outcome are really much taking all my boxes. So I hope this one does as well. And this one is called the Unicorn. I think I have different color. Wuho Nati Afternoon Latte. Have a look at the pattern, the covering. Ooh. And this is the packaging of it. Ah, this is the powder we talk about. It is really, really fine. And the powder, they pressed fairly tight. Therefore, although there are patterns in there, but when you do like swatches like that, it doesn't disappear right away. Very easy to be blended out. I bought a new um, similar shaped blush brush so I'm going to just use this time as well just to see it's a random brand on Taobao so um but good feedback of this one so I'm going to try by looking from the swatches is a medium to high pigment in a blush family I mean so I think it's always better to be careful to start with. I think this color is nice. Can you guys see? I quite like this blush. Let me zoom you in. You see the performance on the face is very, very well. Very easy to be blended out. There is no patchness, no cakeness. It's kind of giving you a very healthy glow. 
so look like from inside out doesn't really if you look especially sideways it doesn't look like you patted with blush it's pretty much just like my skin is healthy that's why I had this lovely color the blush is good blush is good move to lips now uh, mine is flower nose velvet lipstick color gardenia It is stunning, absolutely stunning. Look at the detailed covering. Oh my god, this is absolutely my cup of tea. Very good weight, good, good quality, good feel of holding it. And it's absolutely my favorite. My favorite color is light lavender purple color. The head is magnetic. I thought it was twisted. It's not like that. Oh, have a look at the detail as well. Although it's not like Floris has, you know, covered the entire lipstick, but this is very good effort. By here, the name we know velvet is means matte. So let me just quickly remove the blush. Nice color. It is quite classic, warm tone, like maple leaves. Light maple leaves have good brownness in there. When I do the swatches, it seems really, really smooth. And that's see on the lip. Just a standard chemical smell. Very, very subtle, very light. You pretty much can't ignore it. Sorry, I forgot to mention smell. Smell is very important. I know um, my lovely viewers, subscribers did remind me a few times to make sure I do share if there are any smell. Uh, you know what? I come to the smell at the end. Let me put the lipstick on first. I think, ah, this angle, I think you guys can see the difference now. When I do the swatches, it has more brownness in there, but when I apply on the lip, it turns more red and the more petal color appears. More brick red in comparison to here. It's not sticky at all. Uh, it's fairly evened it out. It doesn't cover or smooth your lip lines, but neither emphasize it. So just bear that in mind. It is a fully matte. Transfers. But seems no, no impact on the color itself. When you apply it, it is very, very smooth and silky. Very comfortable. You don't feel... You don't feel the gripness on your lip. I think that the, the, the lipstick is definitely a good one. If you see the color you like, the lipstick is definitely, definitely worth to try out. Okay, come to the uh, smell. Let me just quickly double check. Cushion foundation. Again, it's very, very mild face cream smell. But once you apply it, it will disappear. So uh, not too much at all. Eyeshadow palette, very mild mm, chemical smell. You you don't you, you don't really smell when you work on your eyes. No smell for the uh, glitter liquid eyeshadow. Very light, very very light perfumed chemical smell. Again, you pretty much can't ignore it. Once you put on the face, you, you don't actually smell it. I don't think there is a smell for mascara, but hey. A very mild, plasticky smell. Other than that, there is none. 
I very much enjoyed today's video. How to say overall performance from my first impressions perspective is really good. I think it's definitely value for money. From the packaging's perspective, it is very, very attention to details. But come down to certain items, eyeshadow palettes. I think uh, if you don't have too much hope, your expectation is fairly standard. You will be okay to go with the eyeshadow palettes. But otherwise, unless you really see the colors you want, probably just try start with other items first. Um, the good things on my list is definitely top one is their blush. Um, today's Unicorn's blush and the previous one, this blush in the port, I think the blush quality is top, top. It's really, really good. Highly, highly recommend. If you ask me to recommend one item from Flower Nose, it's their blush. Hope you also like today's video. If you do, don't forget to click the like button and I will see you on my next one.